Hi guys, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Okay, we are going to go with the another ETL testing interview question. So let's understand this question. Okay, see here, if you understand this data, okay, we have a year and we have a each quarter they have separately, they have created the sales. Okay, in 2019, okay, 2020, 2021. If you see sales quarter one, quarter one sales, we have 100. Quarter 2 sales, you have 200 and quarter 3, 300 and quarter 4, 400. When it comes to 2020, you see 600, quarter 1 and quarter 2, 100 and 200 and 300. And same thing with the 2021, 100, 700 and 200. And we, we have not entered the quarter 4 sales here. We see null value here. Now, the interviewer is going to give you this kind of data and they are going to expect, they are saying that this is the output okay the output is year for 2019 you we want okay what is the highest sales here 400 and highest sales quarter we they are they are making okay and what is that 400 at the same time 2020 you see here 600 okay highest sales in that particular in that particular year okay 2020-21 they want 700 okay highest sales they wanted to pick it up highest sales they wanted to pick it up now here if you understand we are having four columns here we are having four columns here okay if it is a single row okay we can go ahead and we can do the group by okay if we have multiple rows okay we have to compare first we are going to compare with the quarter one with quarter two okay if it is greater than quarter two, then automatically you are going to compare with the quarter three. And again, you are going to compare with the 400. Okay, nothing but a quarter one to quarter, quarter four. If it is greater than that, okay, then you have to go ahead and you have to say that quarter one is fine. Like that, you have to write case conditions, case conditions in the in the Oracle. But, but beauty of Oracle, let's prepare the test data first. Okay, whatever the data which we have here, Let's prepare the test data. I already prepared the, this particular thing. Okay. We can go ahead and we can execute it. Okay. We can go ahead and we can execute it. And here. Let me see, guys. Just give me one sec. Okay. Just give me one sec. Actually, I already created a network. Okay. Here you can see table has been created and three rows have been inserted. Now let me do the data first. Let me go ahead and query the data first. Select star from sales. Select star from sales. Let's understand this. Let's understand this. Can we see here? This is the data. But output for we are expecting. What is the maximum sales in 2019? 400. What is the maximum sales in uh, 2020? 600. What is the maximum sales? 2020-21. Okay, 2021. Now, in Oracle, okay, in Oracle, we have a one function. Okay, that is the greatest function. Greatest function. If I can go ahead and give 200, 300, okay, out of it, what is the greatest value? It is going to identify and it is going to give you, it is going to give you. Can you see here? I have mentioned 100, 200 and 300. What is the greatest value out of it? 300, 300. Now, even if I can go ahead and give here, okay, 1000, okay, 10,000 I have given. What is the greatest value out of those four values? We see 10,000 is the greatest value. Can you see that? We are going to see that, okay. This is the way greatest function works. Now, instead of writing lot of case functions, simply if you can apply greatest function, we are going to get the output. Now, 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 if you can go ahead and query this, okay, what is the function greatest, okay, what is the greatest, greatest function, first we'll keep the year here, because we do have a year column, let me go ahead and take the year column, okay, year column, okay, year, and then greatest, greatest of what, sales Q1, okay, Q1, comma, Q2, okay, Q3, 
comma q4 q4 now now as highest sales highest sales from which table guys sales table if i can go ahead and execute okay let's see that okay can you see here 2020 2019 we see 400 2020 we see 400 600 the output whatever they are expecting it is absolutely fine 400 and 600 we are seeing but here they are expecting 700 but we are saying null so whenever you have a null value okay null value make sure you have to apply the nvl function nvl function if you apply nvl function okay default value will be zero okay then automatically what you are going to get you are going to get the 700 700 can you see here this is the way you have to tell them this is the way you have to answer the question okay you have, this is the way you have to write the write the sql query sql query that's it for the day guys thank you so much thanks for watching and liking the video and please contact for ETL testing or big data testing training on below number, below number. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.